guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joanna, if you've never been here before. And if you haven't, take that second, click that subscribe button down below so that we see all of my videos that I put out in the future. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about skincare. As you guys can tell, I don't have a lot of makeup on today, and that's because I wanna share with you guys my nighttime skincare routine, which I have basically been using for the last two years, and I love it so much. I feel like I have the perfect range of products here to keep your skin clear and looking great in the morning when you wake up. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So before I get into using the products, I wanna to talk to you guys about my skin. So I'm 22 years old, which means that I'm kind of somewhere in the middle of where most skincare products are targeted in my opinion, which is either teen skin and then like the anti-aging to adult skin. And the reason that I'm in the middle is because I'm still doing things like breaking out and I'm getting acne all the time, or not all the time, but a good decent amount of the time and I'm also kind of getting into a lot of anti-aging products so I'm trying to prevent acne scarring I'm trying to prevent wrinkles from forming and I'm trying to prevent dullness that happens when your skin ages so a lot of those things are happening at once in my skin but maybe not the focal thing so even though I'm still breaking out I'm not getting as many breakouts say as I did when I was like 16 but there's still breakouts nonetheless and I don't have wrinkles yet, but I do have fine lines that have started to appear and my pores have been changing and things like that. So more generally, I do have pretty normal skin. During the winter, it gets a little bit drier just because of the fact that I'm outside and it's cold. And during the summer, it's normally a little bit oilier just because I'm sweating more and it's hot outside. So this routine is basically what I will use year round. I will switch out things or use less of one product than another given that time of year. For example, if it's winter and it's super cold outside and my skin is just so dry and flaky, I'll probably use an overnight mask rather than using my nighttime moisturizer. And during the summer, if it's really hot outside, I might skip the moisturizer and just like rely on my facial oil because that is hydrating as well. So yeah, let's just get into the products now. So the first step of my routine can happen anywhere from 5 p.m. to when I'm actually getting into bed at night when I'm doing the rest of my routine, and that's removing my makeup because I honestly like to remove my makeup as early as possible. I just don't like having it sitting on my skin. If I can get away with not wearing any makeup, then why wouldn't I? So this is micellar water, and I personally like Bioderma. That's what I have because when I was stocking up on this stuff, they didn't sell micellar water in the US. Now it's like sold by four brands. So get any kind of micellar water that you like. And I use a little cotton round. So I can get these at Target, CVS, anywhere that you go as a drugstore, you can basically find cotton rounds. And I just like the normal ones. So I'll squirt a little bit of Bioderma onto my cotton round. And then I will just start with the eyes and using gentle circular motions and just hovering there for a couple seconds, all of my makeup will come off like that. And some days I'm wearing more makeup than others, so if I'm wearing like a really full face, then I'll definitely have to use two cotton rounds instead of just one. And if I'm wearing almost no makeup like today, then I can just get away with one cotton round. So you guys can see, it, it takes off literally all of your makeup. Um, I go faster with this because I do use a double cleansing kind of process, but look at all of that. This is all my brow products and my mascara. So it removes all my makeup and it gives me a nice clean base to start with everything else. Now with my cellar water, you don't have to rinse it off. I personally like to because I still feel that it's wet and I don't wanna just rub this into my face towel, but you can, if you're comfortable, just walk around with just this on. It has no kind of residual feeling and it doesn't have any bad ingredients that like can't sit on your skin. Like it's not like an oil that's going to break you out if you leave it on. Like I said, I do a two-part cleansing system. So the second cleanser that I use is Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. If you guys are oldies on my channel and you've been with me since the very beginning, you know that I did a first impressions with this product and I got so much flack on it. It's one of my most viewed videos of all time and people just did not like how I was using this product. But 
I have since been using it much longer and I personally love how I use it. So since I have no makeup on, I'm not really going to take a lot. A cold cream cleanser is essentially um, just a cleanser that's going to remove your makeup, but it also um, has moisturizing elements to it. Now, I use this product in the shower at night because I always shower at night no matter what, and that's why a lot of people didn't like how I was opting to use this product. According to the instructions, you're supposed to apply it to your face and then use a towel to wipe it off, but since I'm in the shower, I just rinse it off with water. But essentially, I will take this product and use it to break down the remnants of any kind of foundation that I have on my skin or any leftover eye product. Or if I have a really hard to remove waterproof eyeshadow, then I'll use this on my eyes. So this product feels so creamy. It's super hydrating. But again, its whole purpose is to remove any makeup that you have um, while also moisturizing your skin so that way it's not drying it out when it's doing that. Since I'm not in the shower and I can't just rinse this off, I would not recommend rinsing this off in your sink because it is really creamy and it has a little bit of an oily feel to it and it'll probably clog up your sink if not leave just a gross residue. So the way that they recommend to take it off is using a cloth like this, just a little facial washcloth. So I'm using that and I'm actually just going to wet mine because again, I do normally take this off in the shower and I'm using a little squeezy bottle here because I'm not in front of a sink and I will just remove it like that and the added benefit of using a washcloth to remove it is that it will gently exfoliate your skin now I personally don't need that because you're gonna see in my next step I exfoliate my skin every single night so with just a little bit of water, this product does leave behind a little moisture barrier in my opinion. I have been using my Clarisonic for years and I've gone through a couple different brush heads and that's what I find really makes a difference for me in this routine. I personally use a Clarisonic Mia and this is the sensitive skin brush head. So I get mine at Sephora in a double pack and I change them out just about every three months and I do clean them if I notice them getting really dirty or any kind of makeup in them. And the cleanser that I personally like to use, I've used a ton and when I get sample cleansers, I'll swap out for those. But right now I've been using the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser, which is just a really simple basic cleanser, but I like how it lathers up and it does have a brightening element to it, so it works really well. Again, I do this in the shower um, just because I'm in there at night and this product can be a little bit messy with like sprinkling water places, but essentially you just have to wet the head of the brush a little bit and you can work with dry skin if you want to. Um, and then I'll just squirt a pump or two of this onto here. So it runs for 60 seconds and you're supposed to do about 10 seconds on your cheeks and then uh, 10 seconds on both cheeks, 20 seconds on your nose and your chin, and then another 20 seconds on your forehead. So like I said, I use the sensitive brush head on my Clarisonic just because I feel like it's gentle enough that I can use it on a nightly basis. It removes all of my makeup because it's still like densely packed unlike some of their other ones that are more targeted towards like morning use or something like that. And um, it's just not quite as abrasive as the original brush head which I was using for a really long time. So this one's just my personal favorite. I like it, I love it, I use it every single night, and when I'm not using the Clarisonic every night, I do notice a big difference in my skin that I break out a lot more. The first couple times that you use a Clarisonic or any kind of facial brush, if you haven't used one before, you may notice that you break out a little bit more just because it's removing everything and lifting it from your skin and your skin's getting used to that kind of Ex like daily exfoliation but after a couple times of using it it really makes a difference and whenever I don't use my Clarisonic like if I don't bring it on vacation with me I definitely notice that I start breaking out more so once I get out of the shower I move in to the products that are going to be staying on my face throughout the night and this next product is honestly something that I don't think I will ever live without for as long as acne is ever a problem for me. No, I'm not sponsored by this. I have just honestly used it since I was probably like 14 years old, 12 years old, something like that. And 
maybe my skin is just super trained to it but if i don't use this i definitely notice that i break out so my skin as proved by this product reacts well to salicylic acid and again i don't have a ton of breakouts so this is enough salicylic acid that it keeps my skin in check so you guys can tell right now i do have lingering breakouts but i don't have anything crazy or intense on my skin and that's because of this guy um, so this is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Treatment Pads. You can get a ton of different kind of treatment pads from all different brands. I just personally like the Neutrogena one the best. And essentially in here you just get a ton, you get 60, I shouldn't say ton, you get 60 uh, pre like wet pads that have a salicylic acid um, solution on it. And I will just run this over my skin, I feel a little bit of a tingling sensation, especially places where you might have a breakout or say like a zit that might have popped. I hate saying that, um, but you'll definitely feel a little bit more of like a tingling sensation there. If your skin burns when you're using this, you should probably stop using it, but a little bit of a tingling sensation, almost like when you have a cut and like you apply um, alcohol to it to disinfect it, that's kind of what this feels like to me at least. And it, goes away in like two seconds. In the last couple of years, I have really tried to incorporate some sort of facial oil into my skin and my personal favorite brand is Sunday Riley. I've used a couple different products from her line and the one that I've been using now and loving the best for targeting my problems is the Artemis Hydroactive Cellular Face Oil. So this one smells like lemon, which was one of the reasons why I liked it because it has like a little bit of like an oily scent, but it's nothing over dramatic that I can't stand. And this one is supposed to have complexion balancing, a complexion balancing blend of clarifying, toning, detoxifying oils for a clean and healthy glow from within. So basically, if you guys are looking for a face oil, I definitely recommend talking to someone working in the skincare department, especially if you're going for the Sunday Riley brand. She has so many products that she has something that would probably be best suited for your skin. Personally, this is what I wanted because I'm focused on acne scarring and preventing further breakouts. And this was personally the one that I thought would fit best for me and that the salesperson thought was best for me. So, I will take just a small drop, a dropper full of this guy, and apply one to two drops starting in my forehead. And then using my clean hands, I'll blend it out across my skin like that. And if I have a current breakout situation that I want to make sure that it's not going to scar, I'll try to focus in on massaging that area of my face. But generally, I just try to work it with only my fingertips and very gently so I'm not dragging the skin too much. So the Pond's Dry Skin Cream is a rich hydrating facial moisturizer reading that all off the front label. And honestly, they probably recommend that you use this um, in the morning. But personally, I use it at night because this is the dry skin formula and it's heavy, okay? It's a heavy moisturizer, which is why I like to use it at night. So I'll take just a little drop of that, rub it in between my fingers, and apply it to my skin. And then I'll also bring this down my neck, because the last thing that you want is to forget to moisturize your neck. And then by the time you're 40, you're gonna have like a sagging, wrinkling neck, which definitely ages you. So those are all the products that i use and it targets acne it targets wrinkles it targets dullness and acne scarring and i just find that it's my all-inclusive kind of nighttime regime that i can do i do it while i'm in the shower so it's quick and easy and if i'm not in the shower it still only takes like about four minutes to get all of this done when i'm just working through it and not talking to someone um but yeah so I hope that you guys liked seeing my nighttime skincare routine. If you have any questions or comments, make sure that you leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, which are also listed down below, but you'll see them at the end of the video as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do it at the beginning of the video when I told you to, so you can see my next video that comes out. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you guys wanna see a complete list of the products that I've used, you can check the description box below this video, which will have links to all the products. And if you wanna watch one of my last videos, you can go ahead and click on the videos here or click on my face to subscribe.